He is a prominent figure in New Mexico's history, but it looks like someone's got a real problem with him. Vandals have taken aim at a 500-pound, life-size bronze statue of Don Diego de Vargas, and it's going to take a lot of money to fix what they've done. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt reports. Brett Comer's got his work cut out for him, restoring this life-size bronze statue of Don Diego de Vargas. It's disappointing. Um, you know, why anyone would do something like this, uh, I, I really don't understand it. The piece was created to honor the second colonizer of New Mexico, who reclaimed Santa Fe in 1692. But over the years, vandals have had their way with it, damaging its foundation, painting his face, even breaking parts of it. Enough damage, the city decided it needed to be removed and fixed. There was a danger of the, the bronze being toppled over or being drug, drug away. Um, and the sheath part was um, torn off. Today, the space where the statue stood at Cathedral Park sits empty. And this isn't the first or only time vandals have damaged something here. Maintenance crews that work here at Cathedral Park tell us it takes a lot of time and effort for them to keep up with the vandals. Graffiti marks other statues at the park. Albert Gallegos was part of the group that helped raise money for the Don Diego de Vargas statue. He says he's asked the city to put up surveillance cameras. I guess our requests have gone on deaf ears because the city has promised us uh, cameras. But the city says their resources are limited. It took a crane to move the roughly three-ton statue to his shop, and Comer says it'll cost about $2,000 to restore what the artist, Donna Kwastoff, worked so hard to accomplish and return it to the Capitol so that others can reflect on a piece of history. They should respect it. It belongs to them. It belongs to all of us. We all pay for it. Gabrielle Burkhart, KRQE News 3. The city of Santa Fe says they do have some surveillance cameras and that they prioritize where they put them based on need in places with high theft or graffiti or vandalism. The location of the cameras is decided through a process that includes recommendations from city committees.